listen, the dude changed the musical landscape and the visual landscape as well. Because, you know, his delivery, you know, musically and lyrically was like nothing else that was out there. It was pop, but with an edge. It was rock, but unlike anything we'd ever heard. And he was referencing cool He wasn't just listening to other musicians. He's bringing in theatre, cinema, literature, art. You know, if you got into his music, it was a gateway to all this other stuff if you were that intelligent. You know, but if you weren't, you could just get off on the way he looked at the music. <laughs> what kind of an imprint do you think that David Bowie has had on the music industry? He was a special breed. And I don't think this the 21st century has produced anybody like him. I can see that you're wearing some very Bowie-inspired get-up. Can you just walk us through the outfit? Oh, well, because he, he wore uh, Alexander McQueen, Union Jack, uh, frock coat on the on an album cover in the 80s. Um, this is as close as I could get, but my flare pants and my platform shoes are from 1975 when I was 15. Oh, wow. so. Vintage. Um, did you ever take any inspiration from Bowie's hairdo at all? Yeah, every, every single guy in my class in 1973, um, apart from the science geeks, everybody had that pom-pom haircut that was all and a mullet. Yeah, we did. Um, I read that you did David Bowie as karaoke at the Oscars. Can you talk to me a little bit about that? Is that your go-to karaoke song? <laughs> to my eternal embarrassment, there was a lock-in with uh, Olivia Coleman and Amy Adams afterwards. And the uh, final party that I went to after the Vanity Fair party and the Governor's Ball, and I did Life on Mars. I thought brilliantly on karaoke, and my daughter said, you will never see this footage as long as you live, because it's so bad. <laughs> Do you have any funny stories that you recall about touring at all? Yeah, there are a lot of funny stories. Tonight, for example, I'm opening the show before the movie playing eight of his songs on the piano. Fifty years ago I did the same thing and he asked me to do that on the spur of the moment an hour before we went on stage. And I was freaking out. And uh, he told me he was more nervous for me than himself. Has there ever been an artist like David Bowie who has passed away and the memory lives on? Or is it just him? One of a kind. One of a kind. Um, I think he's influenced more artists, singers, songwriters, actors than any artist in history. I think he'll also be known for that. The influence, aside from the fact that he was a great singer, 